Hi there guys, Joe Pet here, and today we're playing some more Skylander Superchargers. As you see, I'm using a Bowser, and uh, he's exclusive to the Nintendo systems. He's available in the 3DS and also the Wii version of the game, and he'll play inside the Wii U version of the regular Skylander Superchargers game. But um, uh, what we're going to do is show the upgrade pass, so let's go ahead and uh, show regular attack. We have this uh, giant mallet here, the spiky mallet that hits for 30 and it crits for 40. And then we also have a uh, secondary attack. We have these little shell guys, the uh, little Koopa Troopas. The little Koopa Troopas hit for 10 or crit for 15. But if you hit them while they're still in their shell, you can actually bounce them around like this and they hit for 10, 15 and they crit for 23. So that's really cool. That's a you can actually have one, two, three. Looks like three out at a time. So those are really good because they're decoys, but also because so you can sit there and you can whack them like this and they'll fly around for a while and uh, do a lot more damage that way and keep your guys, uh, slow down the guys a little bit, trip them up. All right, so the first upgrade is called Molten Bowser. Press X to become Fiery Bowser. Press Y to swipe all enemies with fiery claws and press A to breathe out fire. All right, so to become him, press that button and the swipe with the Y, it hits for 45 and crits for 68, it looks like. And there's a secondary like fire effect that gets him for like 10. And then we have a uh, breathing fire, which does uh, 20 damage. It crits for 30 and it has like a secondary like a burn off of a uh, tin. All right, the next upgrade is called Shell Smash. Press Y to hit a nearby spinning Koopa, causing it to spin around faster and do more damage. Let's throw one out real quick and then we're gonna hit it with Y. Well, I hit it with Y there. So now it's hitting for 15 every time and then critting for 23. So the next upgrade is called Red Koopa. Press A to spawn a Red Koopa. Red Koopas hone in on enemies while in their shell. So let's go ahead and throw this real quick and then hit it. And it still hits for the same damage. Looks for 15 or 16 and crits for 23. The next upgrade is called Royal Authority. Press A to spawn a Koopa. This will also cause nearby Koopas to stop spinning. All right, see these guys are spinning around right now. Let me just stomp down and add another one. And they stopped. Did you see it? See they're going. Stomp down, spawn a new one, and they kind of stop. All right, so now we have the choice of different paths. We have Koopa Commander, which is the top path. Use masterful battle tactics to cause your Koopas to do devastating damage to enemies. So that's going to be the, uh, the more far away attacks. And then the bottom path is going to be Molten Monstrosity. Power up with new mighty lava attacks to make enemies feel the burn. All right, so uh, first off, we're gonna go with Koopa Commander. All right, the next upgrade is called Warp Pipe, which uh, press A to summon Warp Pipe and spawns Koopas. All right, so if I hold down A and let go, it's gonna summon a Warp Pipe and three Koopa Troopers are gonna pop out and they're just gonna start attacking. 17, 17, 17, and the crit for 26. And I don't really know the difference between doing that or just uh, just stomping like this. You can have three out at a time and they attack for the same. So I don't really know how that's an upgrade, but okay. All right, the next upgrade in this path is called Koopa Paratroopa. Press A to summon a Koopa Troopa and flying and honing. All right, so we can go ahead and uh, press down A. And you see he, he uh, flies right forward. He hits for 24. It has like an afro effect too, it looks like. All right, so basically what that does is it upgrades my Koopa Troopas to Koopa Paratroopas. And it looks like they hit for 24 uh, and have like an aftershock value also. So see, it's still hitting even though they're not doing anything. And they're hitting for 17, critting for 26. So you can do it that way or if you want to, you can uh, do the warp pipe and it'll still bring them out the same way, I think. Yeah. So they hit for 24 and it has that, uh, looks like a crit for 36. Next upgrade is called Super Koopa Spin. 
press Y to make nearby spinning Koopas even faster. You can now spin up Koopas even more, doing more damage to enemies. Let me just put a few out there. There we go. So I can hit them up to a certain point. It looks like they hit for 26 and 39 and all sorts of crits all over the place. So you can keep hitting them. It probably helps to, you know, sit here and do this. All right, and the soul gem upgrade for Bowser is called Molten Bones. Press X to turn into Molten Bowser. Turning into Molten Bowser transforms all active Koopas into Molten Bones, which do more damage to enemies. And right now they're gonna attack for a crit for 36 and regular hit for 34. All right, let's summon these real quick. And we'll switch over to Molten. And they hit for 24 and 36. It didn't look any different to me. There, there was a crit for 90. But it's still doing average damage. All right, so normally a Koopa Paratroopa hits for 24 or crits for 36. So let's go ahead and uh, try this with Molten and see what happens. So they're hitting for uh, 36 and 24. I was on the low port. Uh, you got a 90 there. So it definitely hits a lot harder. All right, in the bottom path is called Molten Monstrosity. Power up with new mighty lava attacks to make the enemies feel the burn. All right, and the first upgrade for this path is called a Molten Hammer. Press Y three times to do a massive lava slam attack. That sounds cool. All right, so normally a uh, regular attack does 35 damage or a crit of 54. It does like an after effect, but we're going to do a triple. One, two, three. And you see a hit for 64, I think it was. Let's see. 66. And that's on top. Oh, a crit for 99. That's really good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little upgrade. Next upgrade is called Bowser Bomb. Press X to enter Molten Bowser mode, causing an explosion and massive damage to enemies around you. All right, so now when I press X, it does a big explosion right there. See, for 42, everything that's around me in the area of effect is going to get hit for 42 or a crit for 63 for just for me changing. So if you want to, you can sit there and do this really fast. And that can be pretty good damage for a lot of different enemies at one time. The next upgrade is called Infinite Fire. Hold A while in Molten Bowser mode to deliver a continuous stream of fire. All right, so before when I was in Molten Bowser mode, it would only last uh, for a couple seconds. But now I can sit here and have a steady stream of fire coming out and infinite. Just, it never stops. Look at all that damage. Just fire, fire, fire. All right, guys, so that's the upgrade path for uh, Bowser, the top and bottom. Make sure and smash that like button if you liked the video. And make sure and stay tuned for more gameplay and walkthroughs on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!